Hi, my people. Trust God, you are doing great. Um, this is a zip code fashion house channel. My name is Paula. We appreciate as many that have been subscribing to our channel. And if you have not done so, do well to subscribe to me. Thank you. So today, we'll be learning how to make a cage art side paper. So let's go. This is the top we'll be using for the illustration. This is the front view. You can see it's a, it has a basque waist. So this is the bus, I mean the back view. So this is the side. For this back, this is the way this back is. We are having one inch as our seam allowance here. So this is the way it's going to be. The mini half you are seeing here is to um, the joining allowance. So we have a we have twenty inches. So let's make it twenty one inches. That is for the hem allowance. So now the next thing you have to do is to just take a plain uh, paper and fold it into two. So the 21 in inches we initially measure here will be, you know, divided into two. That is that will give us a ten and a half. So you are going to fold your plain paper with a ten and a half. We have ten and a half here. So that ten and a half just get it right first. Just the way you measure your, you know, 360 degree, but this one is 180 degree. Remember, we fold it into two, not into four. So the open it, this is what you are having. So now, and the, the length of our peplum, we want the length of our peplum to be eight inches. So, Eight inches plus seam allowance up here, making eight and a half. So on this line, not the not this side. Here now you get your eight and a half. Eight point five. Get it here. So you come to somewhere in the mid point. Get your eight and a half. Then connect it. So go connect from here to this end. Then connect from here to this end. So having done that, this is what we are having. This is what we are going to use as a template to cut out our fabric now. Now, I've uh, used it to cut out my fabric. This is the fabric. So, just um, notch it. Notch it here. Notch it down here. So, so, having done that, so the next thing we have to do is to be with Begin to rule at the area we want to, I mean, fix our bony. So, first, the first one is a this center. We rule it. So, from this uh, center now, you know, we are having um, ten and a half here. Just uh, we divide that ten and a half by three. It gives us a three and a half. So you just measure three and a half this way measure another three and a half so the remaining here is three and a half so you do the same thing this side rule it so up here get your three and a half as well get your three and a half connect it 
So do the same thing. Get your three and a half. Okay. Get your three and a half here. For next it. Those are the areas our uh, boning will be fixed. So the next thing is to you know grab your strap. I've cut out this strap, cut as uh, much as your fabric uh, permits you. I I cut it out by 1.5. 1 1.5. So I'm going to be placing it. I'm going to be I will sew it here down then I turn it I turn it I tuck it in this way then I sew on it again so that's how I will do for all these uh, five lines so let me go and do that now I've gone ahead to you know stitch my the casing for my bony on the fabric so the next thing I'll do now is to begin to insert my bony. So what you do now is that you measure what you are having here. We have eight and a half, so you just cut out eight inches. You leave a half an inch that you are going to use to join it to your bodies. So your bony will not get to that uh, area. So as you are having eight and a half here, cut out eight inches. So you insert it. So you do the same thing for all of them. You are having a, a like seven three quarter here. You cut out a seven quarter of bone. So you can see that the down part here is not straight, so you, you just cut all the excess there. So that's how you do for 5 or 10. Now go ahead and uh, fix your bony casing for the down part. You fix it this way, you join it here, turn it to the right side. So and stitch again. We have fixed the uh, bony casing for the damp parts and the, the regilin bone has been inserted. As I'm showing you, I will go ahead and reduce the bony by half an inch here, half an inch here. For the half an inch uh, seam joining allowance we are having up here. So having done that, the next thing I will do is I will go ahead and the uh, place another um, bone casing for her part A. So this is the way this one will be done. Let me cut this. So for the, the casing for the upper part A, you are going to, you are going to, I mean, mark half an inch. The half an inch that will be used to, to you know, attach it to the bodies mark it here so after marking it it is a uh, on that half an inch that we are going to place our strap we are going to place it this way on the mark half an inch mark that you have marked here that's where you are going to so it's quarter of an inch then you now fold it in this way for just the way you have been doing for this, you fold it in and sew it again, leaving half an inch up here. So this is the, it is this half an inch you will now use to attach it to your bodies. So now, the our KJ hat side peplum is uh, already formed. So I've fixed the casing for the bony for the upper part here, and the bony has been inserted. So I've already blocked it here. So the next thing for me is to, you know, cut it, ensuring that uh, it enters a bit. So 
So ensure that you fasting it very well here so that it will not just rump. So I'll just go ahead and lock it here. I will close it here so that there will be no way of escape for our bunny. Yes, yeah, so and the next thing is for me to go and uh, fix it on a basket or stair top. So you, this is it. You place it this way. This is the the side. You sew it. You join it with your this way to the front and uh, to the back and it's ready let me go and do that here we have we have fixed our um, cage at a side peplum to our busted top see how beautiful it looks this is the inside the inner view all you need to do is to go ahead and uh, overlock this uh, area I'm okay, sure you this video. Drop your comment on the comment section. Share with your friends. Like it and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.